Welcome to China Vision News. Here is in price. I'm Han Rong. At first, let's look at news of the week. On the 15th, Beijing International Air Show, which will be held in this September, AVIC will display its domestic aircrafts for military and civil aviation use, including J-10 fighters. JF-17 fighter, Air-15 trainer, amphibious aircraft Seagull 300, large amphibious plane Dragon 600, and large commercial engines. It is reported that the air show will be held from September 25th to 28th, 2013 in National Convention Center of Beijing Olympic Central Area. Through constant explorations, the Composites Factory of AVIC Chengdu Aircraft Corporation has established a fuse production line, which is more efficient when assembling aircraft components. Within the first three months this year, due to the past production line, the factory's production rate and employees' overall efficiency have raised 83 percent and 47 percent respectively, and the product failure rate and the extra work rate dropped 85 percent and 97 percent respectively. In the recent 2013 CAC Management Annual Meeting, past production line has been introduced and expanded as a typical case. Recently, Chinfaint news keeps purring in trail flights of AVIC four new regional jets, ARJ-21700, which have accomplished a number of important trail flights in AVIC test center. To be more specific, new regional jet number 101 will be arranged to take part in intense test flights to test its stability and performance. According to reliable source, the year 2013 will be a key year for testing the airworthiness of new regional jets. The test center will work together with COMAC to promote the whole project to achieve the final success of airworthiness certification tests. On March 24, the Hawk UAV produced by AVIC Guizhou Aircraft Corporation has successfully finished the first aerial survey mission aiming at Guizhou Puding, sending nearly 1,000 high-definition pictures. This time, Hawk's civilian UAVs made new breakthroughs of aerial technology by using low-altitude remote sensing mapping technology. It will offer convincing reference for West development, especially for land development of Guizhou province. On March 29th morning, Li Shouze, Dean of AVIC, the first aircraft institute, and Zhang Shuwei, chairman of Shijiazhuang Aircraft Corporation, officially signed agreement of transferring intangible designs of Little Eagle 500, which means technological work such as upgrading and retrofit has been transferring from the institute to SAC. According to the agreement, once the aircraft after being put into the market, the institute is responsible for technologies and the SAC will be in charge of production, marketing and after-sales service. On March 26, AVIC Shanxi Aircraft Corporation and the American Nordam Group officially signed a long-term cooperation agreement for the FACO 2000 number 6 ND project. Up to now, SEC has signed with American Spirit Aerosystems, Nordam Group, and Boeing $65 million subcontract production contracts with main products like sheet metal parts, machine parts, and widgets. The deadline of the agreement signed this time is four years within $330,000 annual delivery amount, mainly covering sheet metal parts, machine parts, and the widgets.
Now it's time to brief news. Hebei Jihua General Airlines purchased two Triumph 20 b aircrafts, a business aircraft and a commodity multi-purpose aircraft. On March 29th, the Avic Huayin Company held the first new military products meeting in Hanzhong, Shanxi, expecting military products from components to systems that represent the new technology and development in the interior field. The Xinzhou 10 spacecraft planning to choose an aircraft for launch was on the expedition yesterday with AO76 transport aircraft to Jiuquan launching site. North China will witness another six shipping companies. The 1,000th Boeing aircraft was delivered to China on March 28th. The first batch of students in the first domestic helicopter training cooperation project completed the maiden flight on March 26. Boeing predicts China will need 5,260 new aircrafts over the next 20 years. Let's have a short break. Welcome back. Now let's look at what has happening in China Airlines. China's top civil aviation authorities on Sunday began implementing a new program increase flight number by 8.3% during the summer and autumn in the world's fastest growing air market. After the adjustment, China now has 4,582 flights carried out by domestic airline companies to 170 international cities every week and another 4,870 flights operated by international air carriers between 36 Chinese cities and 114 cities in 55 countries per week, according to CAC. Chinese airlines are going to launch 75 new domestic routes, 28 international routes, as well as several routes to Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan in the summer schedule, effective March 31st, said the Civil Aviation Administration of China on March 29th. In the summer schedule, 32 Chinese airlines will offer 48,552 domestic flights per week, an increase of 8.3% year-on-year, including 47,499 passenger flights and 1,053 cargo flights. In this review, we will focus on the competition between Airbus and Boeing in China market. Over 200 aircraft orders in one year are a huge temptation for both Boeing and Airbus. Nevertheless, when the airlines are scrambling to throw orders, there are different voices in the industry. The business condition of the aviation market is not so good. The fare of 2013 lowered by about 10% compared with 2012. At the concern of people in the airlines, China's aviation market is going downhill. In the 2013 teleconference of China South Airlines, Xie Bing, the chairman secretary of China Southern, once described the future like this. There is complicity in recovery. In his view, the case of double-digit growth in China's domestic aviation market has become a history at the current aviation industry is the state of a relatively stable growth. However, the overall market began to see signs of oversupply. 
For instance, the year-on-year -year aircraft seating capacity will increase by 11% in 2013, while the passenger throughput capacity as forecasted by the CAA will only rise by 9.4%. The above aviation industry source said, in buying aircraft vigorously, we should probably stop to think clearly how large the capacity of the future market will be and whether we need a so crowded fleet or not. As Airbus predicts, in the next 20 years, the global aviation market will need 19,500 single also aircrafts. 2,719 of which will be delivered to China, accounting for 15% of the total. Here is some price. See you next time.